welcome back everybody. I'm Scott Snyder with Atlantic Builders. I'm in the warranty department. Um, today we're going to be filming another Atlantic Builders warranty tip video. And today's tip is the maintaining and cleanliness of any trap that's underneath any of your sinks in your brand new home. Uh, the location that we're working in today on your trap maintenance is your hall bath double sink. I'm gonna show you where everything's located, how to take it apart, how to maintain it, and then also put it back leak free. So the first thing you wanna do is open up your cabinet doors, identify the trap and your shut off valves, which is your hot shut off side and your cold line shut off. To turn those valves off, you wanna take the front of it and turn it to the right position which will ensure us when we're doing our cleaning of the trap, we will not have any water fall onto us. So once you have identified and have shut off the hot side and the cold side of the water, you wanna make sure you don't have any more water dripping out of your faucet. I'm here at this sink now. We're gonna move over to the first one here on the left just to demonstrate how the trap comes apart and then gets put back together leak free tools you will need is a pair of channel locks and a couple rags as well. Right before you get ready to take apart the trap here, you're going to get some water left in the bottom of the trap. I have placed a trash bag or a towel, that way we don't mess up the cabinet base. So your first step is you want to loosen up your trap adapter here. You want to loosen this top nut, then slide it up so that is free. Once that step is done, then you're going to start loosening the main nut that's holding this assembly together, which is here. You're going to need a big pair of channel locks. You're going to spin to the right. Once it's loose, you can usually spin by hand. After that, you want to drop the trap assembly down, but be careful you're going to get water coming out of this part. Slide the assembly down then sit down on the floor. And your last part of the cleaning of the trap assembly would be the tailpiece of the faucet. That piece is here. This connects to the drain. You really wanna make sure that this piece here is clean of debris. This one here catches your hair, mouthwash, shaving cream, anything of that nature. So after your tailpiece is back and attached to your drain assembly, you're wanting to put the main trap assembly back together, which will be the trap adapter nut and then the main nut holding the trap together. We're gonna slide up just a little bit to where you can line up your threads with the nut there. Pops on, that goes down there, tightens up. Then you wanna tighten up your trap adapter at the top. Once it's hand tight, you just want to give both of those just a slight snug. Then what we want to do is turn on your cold water and then your hot water. After that, you are wanting to test the trap to make sure you don't have any more leaks. So once your trap adapter is all put back together and your water lines are turned back on, your hot and your cold, you're gonna to wanna to do a quick test before you fill the bowl completely up to make sure you don't have that small leak there. I'm gonna start by showing you how to do that and all that is doing is just running water through the bowl and through the trap. So as, as the water's running, that water's going through and testing our trap at, for a test run. Once you've done the running test and you have no leaks underneath of your sink, then let's plug the stopper and let's fill this tub up all the way up to the weep hole inside of the sink here. So when we're testing the trap, we definitely want to fill our sinks up all the way up to the bottom of the weep hole of the countertop. So once you're filled up with water like we are here, you're gonna to wanna to lower the drain assembly here, the pop-up, and then watch your trap adapter, trap, make sure everything is leak-free. 
come down and just make sure you're not getting any drips from the tailpiece, the trap adapter, or your main trap here. All right, so once you know you are leak free, that's all you got. For more information on this topic or any other topic dealing with your brand new home, please refer to your homeowner guide.